You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Moore versus Scott. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Moore, you came to court today to prove you are the biological father of four-year-old Aliana. You and your current girlfriend claim the defendant has played on your emotions for four years and has allowed another man to raise your little girl. You are desperate to put the defendant's doubt to rest so you can finally be in your daughter's life. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Scott, you say you are positive Mr. Moore is not your daughter's biological father. Once the test proves you right, you want Mr. Moore to leave you and your child alone. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so Mr. Moore, you say you've always believed Allie is your daughter. Tell me why. Yes, Your Honor. I've never seen a, my child a day in my life. You've never seen her? A day in my life. But you're convinced she's your daughter? Yes, Your Honor. So why hasn't he seen her? If he feels that way, why hasn't he tried to see her? I've, I've tried to see her, Your Honor. She blocked me all sources of contact. She even changed her number. I tried to reach out to her on social media. I couldn't even get through on that. So you have reached out? Yes, Your Honor. Through social media? <laughs> And tried Never. her phone number, but she changed no. her number? Never yes, about know. seeing her. Never. He only... Only thing he ever said was, that's my child. That's my child. Never about seeing her. That's not your kid, so why... You have never tried to see her ever, and I don't mind because that's not his kid. So why do you believe she's denying you're the father? Why? Because she had sex with another guy at the time. Oh. Well, that's reason to doubt, right? Yes, Your Honor. But not deny. That's what you're saying. Yes, Your Honor. It still remains that you are a possibility. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So now, what was the nature of your relationship, uh, Miss Scott? We met on a dating site. Um, he was kind of like an escape plan for something that I was going through. So an I escape wanted to... plan. Yeah. Escape plan. So, so I, I wanted was more to get than away. Escape plan. I wanted I was to get away boyfriend. from that. I wanted to get away from that. So you know, I kind of kind of led him on. I didn't... I wasn't trying to pursue nothing, you know, be no family or anything with this man. We... We met... We, we met together. He asked me to move in with him. I moved in with him. We, we maybe stayed together maybe a month, and I left. And when was this? That was in July of 2013. In July. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, okay. we had sex the first night I met her. <laughs> we so did not. We, we did not. We did not. It was not the first night. It was early, but it wasn't the first night. But when you did have sex, Miss Scott, did you use protection? No, it wasn't protected. Okay. So, you moved in for a month. Right. Were you faithful during that month? Or you all were only seeing one another? Um, I was still, like, I was currently in a relationship when I met him mm. originally. When you moved in with him? Right. So why would you do that? Because he was my he was my escape plan. He was my dummy, basically. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, I want you to be honest, but I think you might have just taken it too far. This was my first love, Your Honor. I cared about her. You did. Yes, sir. So your feelings were genuine. Yes, sir. So when she said she would move in. You thought she cared about you as well? Yes, Your Honor. And you thought you guys were gonna be a couple? Yes, Your Honor. What happened once she moved in? Uh, once we moved in, I mean, we just kind of, you know, we was hanging out and, you know, talking and, you know, I was kind of, you know, playing the role as if I wanted a relationship with him. And, you know, we had, during that time of us living together, we had, we had sex a few times. Just a few times? She yeah, left with another times. man, Your Honor. She left with another man? Yes, which was the man that I was in a relationship with, which is my child's father. So, what happened when you found out you were pregnant? Um, I found out I was pregnant September 2013. I was going to the clinic for, you know, my yearly, monthly women's exam. Um, and they came in and said, Miss Scott, you're pregnant. And, and you know, I told my daughter's father that, that we were gonna pregnant. have a baby. I never told um, Mr. Moore that we were gonna have a baby together. I never told him that. Your Honor, she called me and told me she was pregnant. She did? Yes, never, Your Honor. never. And are how under... far along was she when she called to tell you? She was a couple of weeks, about three to four weeks, she said. Three to four weeks. And your response was? I might be the possible father because I was having sex with her unprotected multiple times. And at the time, she was messing with the other guy. 
But she kept telling me, oh, you're not the father, but right. I know I'm the father. Right, because he's not. He's not, and I wasn't three to four Did weeks when I told him. Did you ask her to be involved in the pregnancy? Did you say, I'd like to support you through this? I want to come to the doctor. I want to see my baby be born. Nope, none of that. Y- yes, Your Honor, I none tried to. Her dad, he was the one that was there. He took to, went to appointments, every single appointment, and he took me there, took me home. He was... He was supportive the whole Did you tell him pregnancy. he was the only possible father or did you tell him Mr. Moore could also be the biological father? I told him he was the daddy. She he told was me the daddy. I didn't no need to worry daddy. about it, Your Honor. He was the daddy. So, is he on Aliana's Your birth Honor. certificate? Your boyfriend? He is mentioned on all of her hospital paperwork and she has his last name. She said I and was the father, And he's listed as Honor. father on the birth right. certificate? Right, yes. So... The court was able to get a hold of her birth certificate. Under, under child's name, it reads Aliana Janelle. And then for father's name, there's no name listed. Right, but they allowed me to give my daughter her dad's name, even though his name isn't on there because he physically wasn't there. Actual cases. Her car had come through and slammed me up against the toolbox. There was a torpedo coming at my face. Personal injury court cases everyone's going to be talking about. So, Miss Scott, what I don't understand is if you admittedly carried on this affair, this relationship with Mr. Moore... It you wasn't. It didn't carry with him, on. You said July or August. It was only a month. It lasted one but month. But you know, it only takes one time. Yeah, to get I mean, pregnant. yeah. So but what I don't understand. No, I mean it does. You know that. You know that. What I'm I'm trying to understand is why you automatically discount him like. Because at the time when I found out, I was already two months pregnant. I messed around with Mr. Moore a couple times in a month's time frame. I was two months pregnant when I found out I was pregnant. So, when you found out you were pregnant, they said you were eight weeks along. Right. And you had just been intimate with Mr. Moore in within August. the I month. I found out in September, yes, in August. I want to understand this. Hold on. Let me get my conception calculator. So, when was Aliana born? April 25th. April 25th, Okay. If I had calculate, the window of conception is July 28th to August 3rd. And you claim you were in a relationship with Mr. Moore in July. We had sex, Your Honor, in July and August. Mm. Not, from my, not from my remembrance, mm. no. It was... It happened in August. But you met Mr. Moore in July. Yeah, we met... But in online. July. Right. You hadn't met in person yet... No. ...until... August. That... No, until July. We moved in together in August. We had sex together in August. After you moved in with him. Right. We didn't have sex when we first met each other. And he was saying... Okay, and this is where the testimony differs significantly. Because you say you had sex with her the first First day day. you met her. Which he's wrong. He's wrong. We didn't have sex the first day we met. We had sex after we had moved in together in August. Gotcha. So you're saying you were already pregnant... Right. ...from the other guy when you moved in with Mr. Moore. I was, but I didn't know. I didn't find out until September. Okay. But when I went and got the test done and they told me how far along I was, and then that's when I figured out that at the time of me and Mr. Moore having sex together, I was already pregnant because I was two months pregnant. This is what baffles me. I mean, two young people who can stand up here and articulate with great detail (laughs) everything about a sexual relationship, but in four years, you haven't been able to communicate in any way about this baby. He's not about even even to get the DNA test done. You've never met the child. Never. Your Honor, can I speak? Um, my thing about it was when... How I heard of Adriana, and this is why I say he's the father, because when me and Mr. Moore first got together, like, two months after we had gotten together, I had posted Duntavies on social media. And Miss Scott here, she come in and on there was like, I hope you got money for baby wipes and food and <laughs> Never, and never, stuff, never did that. Stuff never. like that. Never. Why would I do that? He not her daddy. And then, on top of that... Right after I had... When I had our son together in 2016, Mr. Moore had posted my son on social media. 
Miss Scott, she took it out of her own perspective and put my baby and her daughter in a collage and sent it to Mr. Moore and was like, we need to get a DNA test done. Really? Never so, did yeah, that. she, like, she did that. Never did that. I never did that. And photos of your son and Miss Scott's daughter was submitted to the court. And on the left side is Mr. Moore's other child with you, Ms. Williams. Yes. And on the right side is Aliana. They don't look like. His, his baby looks like him, my daughter, looks like me, and she resembles her dad. She looks like me. She got the same pointy ears just like I do. Pointy ears. A lot of people have pointy ears. Her dad has pointy ears. And she has the same forehead as it resembles mine. Child, this big old forehead on my head. Got my, my head. My forehead look like me, my child. They were supposed to do a DNA test when we stayed in Arkansas back here in 2015, but it never got done. She, they were communicating at one point. Then they, they would stop. Because he kept saying that he was her dad. If you her daddy, take a test. So you were open to the DNA test because you knew he that wasn't he the wasn't biological her daddy. father. Your Honor, she Never told me don't even test. worry about her. So when you said, fine, let's do the DNA, he, she, she's not your child, why didn't you ever get it done? She's four. He didn't make no effort. If you feel like she yours, even though she's not, which I know, come on, let's go no, take a you test. No, Your Honor, that, that is not what so happened. So I can prove to you she, that she's every not... Every time we, he, he prepared to do it, she always informed him that her daughter was with her family member and all of this So and you this. feel like she was trying to avoid the yeah, test? Yeah, that was my perspective. And, like, before she commented and posted, he never spoke of her any form of fashion away. I'm not gonna away. come in and post And he that never mentioned I have nothing. a baby with no, my first love? he never said nothing about a oh, baby. Nothing. Because he's not the daddy. And then I asked him, I said, are you... When I went to her, when I went to him and I asked him about her, he was like, oh, she was messing around with someone else and, you know, it's a possibility, but I don't know. That's what he was saying. It so was he a didn't possibility. Her, and oh, so, yeah, she's four. So I was just not here at four years. So, exactly. She done told him all this. It's four years later. Because you if didn't you want If you felt that way, he, he, she didn't why didn't it happen? She, he, they, it when didn't they happen t- on my end because he not the daddy, but I never denied him of taking no test. And why are you so upset, Miss Scott? Because it's four years later. Four. And that makes you feel like what? Like, if you... Like I just said, if you felt that way, you and your girlfriend, why are we just out here? Why we didn't be, be take a test? You She's are, yes, four. Yes, did. I, I'm the, I, Like, I was there. And you feel like now... I raised her. You ain't sent no money. You ain't sent no, no clothes, no shoes, ask what size she wear. None of that. A real man would have said, okay, even though you deny her, denying that I am her dad, I believe she is, let me send her some things. Let me send money for this. Let me send money for that. I probably would have said, we don't need it because you're not the dad, but that was never made. Those type of efforts were never made. Because she stopped me from not being there for four years. She's blocked me out completely. And that she's four and now... And you don't know her. No, is she So four? it's your testimony today that you are going to be there for support and take care of a child who's four years old, whom you've never met, and the mother has moved on. I know she's mine. You know she's yours. I know she's mine. And Miss Scott, she's four. Does she call anybody daddy? Yes. She has a father figure in her life. Yes, she calls the man that whose last that name man. she has. The man yeah. whose last name she has. Is dad. She calls him dad, yes. And then... And have you thought about what if Mr. Moore is her biological father? Where do we go from here? I have. have. You have thought about it. Right, I and have. And what, what was your answer? If a test, which it, it shouldn't, there's no way a test should say that he is the dad, but if it does, then, hey, we will, we will make efforts to have some type of relationship build with them, too. Because it's not, it's not for me. It's right. for her. Good. <laughs> Roll the envelope, please. There you go. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Moore versus Scott, when it comes to four-year-old Aliana, It has been determined by this court. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Mr. Moore, you are 
the father. You are the father, Mr. Moore. That's your little girl. That's four years I've missed out, but I'll make it up to her. I promise. Miss Scott? What are you feeling right now? I feel bad that to know that that is his child. She has not known him for four years. And I've, I've never, I'm 23 years old, I've never had my dad. I always said I wanted, if I ever had children, I wanted to always make sure my, ch my children had their bi biological daddy, and whether that man and I were together or not, to be in their lives. And now I feel like it's my fault because it's been four years. And I feel like I've wronged, I've wronged my daughter uh, four years with him. Listen, I see your pain. But what is so great about each and every day we live, it's another opportunity to do better and get it right. Neither one of you have handled it <laughs> the best. Mr. Moore, I'm happy for you. I know you have lost some time, but like you said, you can make that up and you can break the generational curse that has happened to you by having Aliana know the love of her father consistently from here on out. We have counseling and resources for all of you. I hope you take advantage of it and take care of that beautiful little girl. Court is adjourned.